Hi everybody, let's get grounded with a few breaths. Make sure you're in a comfortable seated position. Root down through your sits bones and let your spine become very long and light. And then we'll take a long breath in and a long breath out. Long breath in, long breath out. Long breath in, long breath out, and we'll take a moment of silence. Open your hearts, open your minds to the sweetness of this moment in your life. and then come in the child pose. Relax your neck and shoulders and move from thinking to feeling. And as you feel into the rise and fall of your breathing, relax your body around the breath so that you're breathing into softness, you're breathing into energy. You're breathing into the part of yourself which is always at peace. In the Bible it says, be still and know. And there's a part of us which is always still and always knows. And yoga is an expression of our desire to experience our own stillness, to remember our own wisdom and then to allow our stillness and our wisdom to guide us as we move through our days. Now come on to all fours. Hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips, and as you inhale, bring your gaze forward, bring your heart forward. As you exhale, send your spine very high, pulling your belly button up towards your spine. Inhale, gaze forward, heart forward. Exhale, spine high. Now let's do this on your own, integrating breath and movement. A Zen teacher was asked, what is Zen? And he said, doing one thing at a time. And so be total in what you do. If you want the spark of the sacred in your practice, just do one thing at a time. Just be total in what you do. Now on the next exhalation, I'd like you to roll over your toes and come into your downward dog. Yes. Walk it out, bend one knee and then bend the other knee and begin to enjoy the muscles and the bones of your feet. Wag your tail and your spine, work the right side of your body and the left side of your body and begin to enjoy your body. And then walk your feet all the way to the outer edge of your mat. So your feet are wide apart here. Then bring both your hands over to the left side of your mat, thumbs touching. Press through your palms, diagonally across your body and down through the four corners of your right foot. Imagine there was an X in the bottom of your foot and just spread that X out, engage that thigh. Now you can work here if you're feeling a little feisty today. Take your left leg high and roll your left hip over your right hip. Straight legs now. Root down through your right heel. Try to touch the ceiling with your left toes. Four, three, two, reach so high. Nice, then bring your left foot down. Walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. Press through your palms, diagonally across your body, and down through the awakened four corners of your left foot. Now work here or take your right leg high. Stack the hips, yeah. Now root to reach, glorious. Four, three, two, reach high. Nice, and then bring your right foot down. Center your hands 
And then come on to all fours, hand on the shoulders, knees on the hips, and bring your right arm forward and your left leg back. Stabilize your body by hugging skin to muscle, muscle to bone, gather the energy at your core, and from your core, extend through your fingers, a ways through your toes, four, three, two, lengthen, and then relax. We'll take a breath in, and a breath out. Good, now bring your left arm forward and your right leg back. Hug skin to muscle, muscle to bone, so that you're very bright and ready. Gather energy at your center, and from your center, extend. Four, good, three, two, lengthen, and release. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. And as you exhale, tuck the toes into the mat and press back to downward dog. Good. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. We'll do that again. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Now lift your heels super high, tail way up. Hollow your palms, hollow the armpits, and get long to the sides of your body. Long and longer. Now in slow motion, bring your heels towards the floor. And as your heels come down, spread that imaginary X in the bottoms of your feet. Four breaths, inhale. Exhale. In. Out. In. Out. Now, take your deepest breath in and your longest breath out. Inhale to plank. As you exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Now, place one hand top of the other in front, right underneath your forehead, and rest your forehead on your knuckles. Then bring your feet together, thighs together, and go ahead so you can actually touch your feet. Then separate your feet just a few inches. Press the tops of your feet flat and firm into the earth and lift your thighs up. So feet down, thighs up, good. And then scoop the tail. You're gonna gather the, the core. So knit your belly button to the ribs, your ribs to the belly button. The core is very strong. Now lift the heart and the head and the arms up. Keep your forehead pressed to your knuckles to keep the back of your neck nice and long. The arms are symmetrical. The shoulder blades are on the back. Four, very strong now. Three, two, up, and then down. Good, we'll take a breath in and a breath out. Let's do that again. Check your feet, big toes touching, and then separate your feet a little bit. Good, press the feet down and the thighs up. Scoop the tail, gather the core, and lift the heart and the arms up. For five, steady effort now. Four, three, two, up, and then down. Good, bring your hands straight back for chaturanga arms. Good. Elbows tucked in close. Now press your feet down, your thighs up, scoop the tail, then scoop your heart forward and up. Come into your upward dog. Just the feet and the hands are on the floor. Pull with your palms to send your hips forward, your heart coming forward and up. Nice, you guys, looks awesome. Inhale. As you exhale, roll straight over your toes, downward dog. From your inner right thigh, take your right leg high so your hips are square. Discipline here, guys. The hip, I see that, I want the hip square, good. All right, keep that hip down. Now, strong, straight to the knee, press through the heel, come up a little bit higher for four. It's like you're kicking through the heel and then coming up. Three, two, inhale up. Now as you exhale, take a careful step forward. A lot of care, a lot of precision. Inhale the heart forward. As you exhale, sweep the hands back, palms facing down. 
Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Good. Keeping the hips square now, take your left leg high. Rooting down to reach so high. Four, three, two. On the in breath, take it high. On the out breath, a clean step forward. Inhale, the heart forward. As you exhale, sweep the hands back, palms facing down. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Four breaths. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. In. Out. Now take your deepest breath in and your longest breath out. On the in breath, take your left leg high. On the out breath, bend your knee and bring it to your forehead. Inhale, leg high. As you exhale, a big step forward. Inhale, heart forward. Listen closely. As you exhale, step forward and fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, folds. Bend the knees, drop the hips, inhale, the arms high. Breathe here, eyes are soft. Action of the pose is easy and strong. So for the next 10 minutes or so, we'll be going through a series of multi-joint movements to warm the body up and to cleanse the body, kind of release tensions that have been held for a while. Appreciate that as you move through these beautiful integrations of breath and movement. Take a breath in. As you exhale, folds. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, right foot steps back. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. On the in breath, take your right leg high. On the out breath, a careful step forward. Inhale, the heart forward. As you exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward dog. Four breaths here, eyes are soft. Inhale. Exhale, breathing with your whole body. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. Good, now take your deepest breath in and your longest breath out. On the in breath, take your right leg high. On the out breath, bend knee to forehead. Inhale to the highest, reach up. As you exhale, a big step forward. Inhale, heart forward. As you exhale, step forward and fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, drop the hips, inhale the arms high. Exhale, folds. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, left foot steps back. Inhale, heart forward. As you exhale, sweep the hands back. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, chaturanga, breathing your way down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. 
On the in-breath, take your left leg high. On the out-breath, a clean step forward. Inhale, heart. As you exhale, sweep the hands back. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward dog. Soften and steady the gaze. In breath. Out breath. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. Take your deepest breath in and your longest breath out. On the in-breath, take your left leg high. On the out-breath, a clean step forward. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, step forward and fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, drop the hips, inhale, the arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, right foot steps back. Listen closely. Inhale, heart forward. As you exhale, downward dog. On the in-breath, I want the right leg to come high. On the out-breath, bend your right knee and bring your knee to your right elbow. Yeah. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, left elbow. And again, inhale, leg high. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, left elbow. Good. Now inhale, take the leg so high. As you exhale, a careful step forward. Spin the back heel to the floor. Heart down, gaze down. Bring your left arm forward, right arm back. Pause to square the hips and shoulders, and then flow to your warrior two. On the in-breath, spin your right palm high, reverse your triangle, straightening the front leg. On the out-breath, side angle pose, knees bent, forearm to the thigh, long. Inhale, back to your reverse triangle. Exhale, side angle. We'll do that two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Inhale. Exhale and hold. Now, gather the core. Pull belly button to ribs, ribs to belly button. Engage the core. And then from your core, root through your back foot and accelerate through your left fingertips. Before the axis of both feet are meeting the earth with skill. Three, two, inhale. As you exhale, chaturanga, breathing your way down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Let's take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. On the in-breath, take your left leg high. On the out-breath, bend the knee and bring it to your left elbow. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to the highest now. Reach way, way, way up. As you exhale, take a careful step forward. Spin your back heel to the floor. Heart down, gaze down. Bring your right arm forward and your left arm back. Pause, get ready, and then flow to warrior two. Good. Spin your left palm high. Inhale to your reverse triangle. Front leg straightening, awesome. As you exhale, come into your side angle. Inhale, reverse the triangle. Exhale, side angle. Good, you guys. Two more. Inhale. 
exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now pause, collect energy at your center and from your center, shine through the feet. So really from the core, press through your feet. Get a sense of that. And as you root through your feet, accelerate along the right side of your body. Four, straight through the elbow, straight through the wrist. Three, two, inhale. As you exhale, come to plank and chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Now breathe with your whole body. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. In. Out. Now take your deepest breath in. Longest breath out. On the in breath, take your right leg high. On the out breath, a careful step forward. Listen closely. Inhale, heart forward. As you exhale, sweep your hands back, palms facing down. Inhale, sweep up. As you exhale, bring your palms to your heart and spin, left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Now three points here, press the palms together, seal the core, then bring the right shoulder over your left shoulder for three, two, one. Now left hand to the floor, right arm high, four, whole body working together, three, two, spin, then windmill up to warrior two facing the back of your mat. So now your left leg will be the front leg. Inhale, as you exhale, come into a bent knee triangle. So the front knee is bent, the inside of your left arm, or outer, outer edge of your left arm touches the inside of the knee. Now from your hands and feet, pull energy to the core, and then from the core, shine into the pose. Shine from the inside out. Before, three, two, one, nice effort. Come up through your right hand, straighten the front leg, reverse your triangle. Four, start with the feet, pulling energy up the body. Thighs are engaged, tail is scooping. Three, the ribs are coming back as you get long through the side body. Two, one, spin your left palm forward. Now come into your triangle pose, left hand down. Right arm high. Front leg is straight here. Now begin at the beginning. Let your eyes become calm and still. And then feel into that stillness. Before and allow right action just to arise on its own. Three. Two. I'm gonna come up to your right hand and bring your palms to your hips. Turn the face to front of the mat. So you kind of set face to front of your mat, then shorten your stance. So it's easy actually to square your hips. And then bring your palms to the behind your back and reverse namaste. Now if that's difficult, you can just catch your elbows behind your back. Now awaken the X in your front foot. So just imagine that X spreading from the inside out. Then bend your knee and stack it over the center of that X. Okay. Come onto the ball of your back foot so that your your hips are easily square. Now rock into your front foot and come into an airplane with your hands behind your back. Good, now straighten both legs and lift the heart and the heel up together. Four, three, two, a little up. Nice, now take a medium sized step back, straighten the leg and pause here for a moment. I'd like you to pull your lower ribs down and back kind of scooping them back and lift the sides of your body. You'll actually feel a hollow in your armpit. Now carry that motion into a back bend. So keep the ribs and keep the back of your neck nice and long. Four, so avoid the lift of the chin. Three, two, a little back. Now lead with your heart as you come into your forward bends. Heart, chin, eyes squaring the hips as you go. 
skill and your feet. Four, three, two, one. Release your hands to the floor. Let's set up a twisting triangle. So bring your, let's just start with your left hand at the floor to the inside of your right foot, right hand at your hip. And if you have trouble squaring your hips here, come on to the ball of your back foot. So lift your back heel up. Once your hips are square, I want you to press through the left hand, engage the core, and bring your right shoulder over your left shoulder. Those of you at home who want to go deeper, go ahead and go deeper. Then take your right arm high. Press through your feet as you spin your heart high. So your whole body is working together. Four, three, two, spin. Nice, and release to plank and chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Four breaths. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. Good. In. Out. Take your deepest breath in and your longest breath out. On the in breath, take your right leg high. On the out breath, a big step forward. Inhale, the heart forward. As you exhale, step forward and fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, drop the hips, inhale the arms high. Breathe here. Your eyes are soft. You're allowing grace always in your poses, but you're shining and strong at the same time. For four, three, two, inhale as you exhale, folds. Listen closely. Inhale, long spine. As you exhale, step your right foot back. Inhale the heart forward. As you exhale, sweep the hands back. Inhale, sweep up. As you exhale, palms to your heart and spin. Right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Three points. Press the palms, engage the core, then stack the shoulders. For three, two, one. Right hand to the floor. Left hand high. Four, your whole bodies working together. Three, two, spin. Nice, then windmill up to warrior two, facing the back of your mat. Now your right leg is coming forward. Inhale, and as you exhale, bent knee triangle. Right hand to the inside of your right knee, left arm vertical. So it's just the outer edge of your arm rests to the inside of the knee. Now gather energy at the core, and from the core shine, shining into this pose from the inside out. Four, awesome, three, two, one. Now float up through your left hand, straighten your front leg, reverse that triangle. Front leg is straight now. Start at the feet, work with the axes. Now the thighs, now the core is sealed. For three, as you lengthen through the right side of your body. Two, one. Coming into a straight leg triangle, le right hand down, left arm high. Begin at the beginning. Feel into the skill of your feet. And then the steadiness of your thighs. Everything hugs the thigh bones. The moment your thighs are engaged, you're scooping the tail. You're pulling energy up the body. Before you're integrating the core, shine the heart. Three, two, one. Come up through your left hand, palms to your hips, turn the face to front of the room. Adjust the feet, square the hips, bring your palms together behind your back or catch the elbows. Good. Now spread the X in the bottom and the front foot and then stack the knee over the center of the X. 
Come on to the ball of your back foot so the hips are comfortably square and then rock your weight forward into your left foot. Take your right leg high. Now squeeze and straighten both legs. So, so strong. Learning strength and determination here. Four, lightness and grace. Three, two, little up. Nice now, medium size step back. Straighten the front leg. Pause to pull the ribs back and lengthen the side of your body. Now from the sides of your body as though your, your rib cage is between, your spine was between two train tracks come into your back bend. So the side body is the train tracks and the spine is between and you're just working into a back bend. You're keeping the spine nice and long as you go. For three, back of the neck nice and long too. Two. Right, now come up tall and then hinge at the hips coming forward. Squaring at the hips as well. The feet are bright. As you balance left to right, front to back, four, three, two, on coming out, eyes, chin, heart. We're going to come in a twisting triangle a little different this time. Bring your left hand to your left hip and sweep your right arm high. Relax and feel. Now root through your back foot as you reach forward and down with your right hand. Take the hand position that works best for you, twisting triangle here. If you need to square the hips, come onto the ball of the back foot, seal the core, stack the shoulders. Now in these standing twists, roots through strong lower bodies as you spin from core power. Before your whole body acting as one. Three, two, spin. Nice, then release to plank and hold in plank. Okay, really steady here. Just let the symmetry of the pose balance your energy. Become firm and bright, but don't bring it into your face. Your face is very calm and relaxed. Take a breath in. As you exhale, downward dog. Good, and let's take child pose. Relax and feel. Okay. We'll take a breath in and a breath out. And a breath in and a breath out. Nice and come up onto all fours. Inhale, gaze forward, heart forward. As you exhale, tuck the toes down with dog. On the in-breath, take your right leg high, right leg. On the out-breath, a careful step forward. Bring your back knee to the floor, flat on top of your back foot. Bring your palms to the top of your right knee and press your right knee forward. And then bring your hands behind your head and interlace your fingers and wrap the arms forward. Okay. Now, press your back foot down, so press that down, okay. and then pull your ribs back. So do these two, foot, now ribs, now pull your head into your hands. So you're keeping all three things happening, foot, ribs, head. Now from the sides of your body, remember those train tracks come into your back bend. So the spine is between the train tracks of your side body. Now let's lengthen those train tracks before Keep the back of your neck long. Three, two, a little up. Good, and then bring your hands to the floor. We're gonna do a modification of Hanumanasana first, which is a split. I'm gonna want you to slide your foot forward and keep your foot flat until your shin is at a 30 degree angle. So your front knee is bent and your shin is at a 30 degree angle. And you can work here or if you have a little more range of motion, so you can, mod you can show the modification, is that okay? And then Molly can go ahead and show the front leg straight, yeah. Now shine the X in that foot. You want this thigh thoroughly engaged. You want this thigh as engaged as you want this hamstring not to tear. That's how strong you want to be engaged. And then you want to shine that foot before. Now, if your hips are nice like Molly's, nice and open, 
the, to take it up, you just kind of work on the excellence of your the, of the integration of your core. I guess she wants to go somewhere. Go ahead and go there. Yeah, why not? There it is. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Now bring your hands to the floor and take your downward dog. Yeah, it's easy for me to say. Go ahead and do that in the, out there in computer land. Now, on the in-breath, take your left leg high. On the out-breath, a big step forward. Back knee to the floor. Flatten the top of your back foot. Bring your hands behind the head, interlace the fingers. Wrap the elbows forward. So you want the elbows aligned with your shoulders, and you want the top upper arm bone, the humerus, in the shoulder socket. Now, press the foot down, pull the ribs back, and pull the head lightly into your hands. No smooshing of the face. Now from the sides of your body, come up and back. Work in those train tracks. Four, nice Bianca. Rocking it, Jennifer. Let's see some rock. Three, two, a little back. Good, and then hands to the floor. We'll begin with the modification of Hanumanasana. So slide the foot forward. Your front knee is bent, the foot is flat, okay? Now work here, or go ahead and straighten your left leg. There's. Engage the left thigh like you mean it, and then shine the left foot to the front of the room. It's dorsiflexing the foot and shine that X to the front of the room. For four, three, two, one. Now come up onto your knees. And okay, so we're doing the Virasana prep. So come up on your knees and bring your palms together over your heart. Now press, press the tops of your feet down and lean back until you feel your quads engaged. That's the sensation we're looking for, okay? Inhale forward, exhale back, lean in. Yeah, feet are flat though. Inhale forward, Exhale back, leaning. That's the superficial front line of your body you're feeling right now. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Hold here now. Really bring some heat upon yourself. Fan those toes. For five, scoop those tails. Four, three, two, a little back. Good, now come up and we'll take Virasana, hero pose. Bring your knees together. Feet apart. If you need to modify, you just put a blanket or a hip between your feet. Those of you who have ankle surgery, knee surgery, and that kind of stuff, you're not aggressive in this pose. This is a really healthy, beautiful pose, but if you've got um, a body that doesn't like it, you don't force this, the body open here. Now, this is a, you can either take it seated, I'm gonna have you be a seated person, or you can come, you can come back. You can, this is nice. You see, what's nice here, this is a nice modification because she's keeping her lower back safe, her knees safe. Or, now she has the range of motion, she can probably go down, right? Or you can come down, okay? The key is, is she doesn't want, she wants to keep those ribs down, she wants to keep that tail scoop. She's working all, all of her alignment here. Her feet are pressed, her thighs are hugging to the midline, good. We got some nice, Katie over here is rocking the party. Before, Three, so it's Mario. Mario's got some party rocking going on. Two, now the trick is to come out. I'm not sure how that's gonna happen. I'll give her a hand. Okay, here we go. Here we go, we can come up. Here we go. And into your downward dog. So you should feel really about, your ankles should be really happy right now. Is that true, Wendy? <laughs> happy, happy ankles, good. Now, let's take a breath in. And a breath out. Good. On the in-breath, take your right leg high. On the out-breath, a big step. Inhale, the heart forward. Exhale, step forward and fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, mountain pose. In breath, out breath, 
in, out. Let's take dancer's pose. Take your left arm high, spin your right palm open. So you want to catch the inside of your right foot. With your eyes calm and still, extend forward through your left hand and kick up and back strong with your right leg. Four, awesome. Three, two, a little up. Good. And then calmly out of the pose. So it events confidence in your body language. Sweep your right arm high. Catch your left foot. Inhale. As you exhale, flow strong and free. Four. Three. Rocking it. Two. A little up. It's awesome. Very calm as you move now. Sweep your left arm high. Catch your right foot. Inhale. As you exhale, flow strong and free. Four, three, two, a little up. Good. Gaze is steady. Breath steady. Sweep your right arm high. Catch your left foot. Inhale. As you exhale, flow. Grace and determination. Four, three, two, a little up. Nice, and then flow right into your tree. Draw your right heel high on your inner left thigh and bring your palms together over your heart. Relax into the calm of your gaze. Yeah. Just anchor into that calm. And bring your arms wide, parallel to the earth. Okay. And then bring your arms up. Gaze up. Now reach so high. Then bring your palms to your heart and step lightly out of the pose. Draw your left heel high on your inner right thigh and bring your palms together over your heart. Meditation. Arms wide open. Hearts wide open. Arms up. Gaze up. Reach so high. Then bring your palms to your heart. And step lightly out of the pose. Step to the front of your mat and come into your mountain. And take a moment, if you can do this without getting dizzy, just close your eyes and feel into the brightness and the aliveness of your mind body. Part of you is invincible always. Now inhale and sweep your arms high. And we can call upon that part of ourselves just in one breath. Exhale, fold. Just like the peace that's always available to us, that invincibility is always available to us. Inhale, long spine, that genius, that creativity. As you exhale, right foot steps back. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, in, out. Take your deepest breath in and your longest breath out. 
Good. Bring your knees to the floor, cross your ankles, roll over your ankles and line your back. Now come right in what's called an air chair. So bring your knees over your hips. You're going to make a right angle right here, dorsiflexing the feet. And then bring your palms to the front of your thighs. So your palms will be right like that. Okay. As you, you're going to squeeze your knees together, squeeze your ankles together. As you exhale, you're going to press your palms into your thighs. Inhale, squeeze the knees, the ankles. Also, as you exhale, press the palms, pull belly button to spine as well. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, press. Squeeze. Press. Squeeze. Press. Five more. Squeeze. Press. Squeeze. Press. Two more. Squeeze. Press. Last time. Squeeze. Press and hold for five, squeezing and pressing, four, three, two, squeeze, press. Now take your legs vertical, hands behind your head, interlace your fingers. Inhale, and as you exhale, lift your head and shoulders up and back for one. Up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up. Six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, ten, up, eleven, up, twelve, up, thirteen, up, fourteen, up, fifteen, up, sixteen, up, seventeen, up, eighteen, up, nineteen, up, ten to go, up, one, yeah, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up and hold. Now bring your arms forward. Head and shoulders are off your mat. Lower your legs one third of the way. For 10, nine, eight, arms are forward. Seven, six, bring your heart higher now. For five, four, Three, work those feet and legs. Two, heart up, and then rest. Yeah, bring your knees to the right. Knees to your right. Right palm is on your left thigh, and take your left arm out. Chin to your left shoulder. Softening and breathing. Breathing and softening. Good, then bring your knees over to your left, chin to your right. And just feel yourself settling. Feel your body just settle as you let go. And so, so much of the tension in our bodies and in our lives is mind made. And just notice if you just let yourself stop you become still. If you let yourself surrender, you find peace. It's really not that complicated, right? If you stop to become still and you surrender to find peace, it's always available to you. It's always one breath away. Now, let's come back into our air chair. Okay, and then keeping your knees together, pull your knees to your heart without using the arms. Yeah, just pull your knees to your heart. Now find that, pull, pull, pull in. Now bring your arms and squeeze. Good. Okay. Palms underneath your knees and rock up and back several times. When you feel you've rocked sufficiently, go ahead and make your way to downward dog or vinyasa through. So, so when you want, you kind of amble over and I'll have uh, Molly vinyasa through. Kind of, you can be our ambler today. So if you kind of want to just kind of amble over, that's good. This is. Perfect. Oh, she's not ambling. <laughs> she's a very vigorous ambler. Okay. And so, um, inhale. As you exhale, come to plank. 
and then lower all the way to the floor. Okay, bring your hands back by your hips, fingertips facing back, just like that. Press your palms down and keep your palms on the floor as you lift your heart and your thighs up. Palms down, heart and thighs up, so the legs are coming up too. There we go. Five, happy in your bodies now. Four, three, two. Now bring your hands off the floor. Five, four, good you guys. Three, two, up, and then a down. Good, we'll take a breath in, and a breath out. Good, reach back to the tops of your feet or your ankles. To modify here, you just take one arm out in front of you, like this, okay? Just like that, and you catch the other leg. So this is a modification. Go ahead and look up. Yeah, so you can just do this to modify. Now, inhale, and as you exhale, scoop and lift. For five, four, three, two, up, and then a down. We'll take a breath, inhale, exhale. And then you just switch it over, so switch arms and reach back. There we go. Or catch the feet. You can work with your hands at the tops of your feet like that. Some people like to do this. Some people like to take their ankle, whatever you feel like doing. One you like to do your ankle. Ankles are fine. Inhale, and as you exhale, scoop and lift. Strongly now. For five, four, three, two, up, and then down without a frown. We'll take a breath in and a breath out. Good, let's up, come on to all fours. Cross your ankles, roll over your ankles and line your back. Then come right into your bridge. So without so much as an ado, just come right into your bridge. Lift your hips up. Good, and you can take the ham position of your choice. So let's show them a couple here. So one is the way Bianca has her hands right here. Hands are flat. One is the way that Wendy has them with her knuckles engaged, right? Then one is the way that Molly's doing it with her hands like that. Either, just kind of experiment with that. And we'll be here, yeah, I got about another 30 seconds. So begin to work your feet down strong. It's really roots through your feet. And use the strength of your legs as, as opposed to your glutes. Just use your legs and then create space in your shoulders by rooting down, develop some flexibility, right? And some strength through your shoulders here. Now bring some heat upon yourself for 10, Work those feet down, guys. Nine, eight, seven, six. Bring your hips higher now for four. I was wrong. That was actually a five, four, three, two. Hips up and then a down. Okay, take a breath in and a breath out. Good. You can take another bridge. You can come into your wheel by resetting your feet and bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, and as you exhale, scoop the tail and come flowing on up, scoop and flow. For five, root down through those strong legs as you open those hearts up. Four, three, two, up, and then down again. Good, let's take a breath in, and a breath out. We'll do a second one, this is for keeps here. Reset the feet, reset the hands. Inhale, and as you exhale, do your best. Very strong, very bright now. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, higher. For five, four, three, two, up. Excellent, and then down. Okay, keep your feet wide. Actually, bring your feet wide to the outer edge of your mat and bring your knees together. Good. Bring your hands over your head and catch your elbows. Now squeeze your thighs together and pull your belly button to the, to the floor. So you're pressing your spine to the earth. Pull your ribs towards the earth and get long through your side body. For five, four, three, two, a little squeeze. Good. And then take Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. And start to rest. So we're in that beautiful part of your class where you begin to unwind, you know, you've been doing all that work. 
and I feel how it's almost like you've been, um, you know, when you make a fruit salad, you cut up the fruit and do all that hard work, then you put it in the refrigerator and it starts to, and all the flavors start to come together, and that's when the fruit salad takes off. It's the only thing I know about preparing food is how to make a fruit salad, and you gotta put that puppy in the refrigerator and let it wait, right? And this is what Shavasana is about, is you kind of, you know, get all that energy moving, and then it becomes this beautiful symphony, you know, at the end of your class when you kind of quiet down. So that, this is, that's the really good news. Let's go ahead and straighten your legs and then take your right leg vertical. We're gonna isometrically release your hamstring by putting your hands behind your hamstring and interlacing the fingers. Go ahead and do that. Straighten that leg, press up through your heel, pull down through your toes. Now pull strong against your hands now. Four, three, two, pull. Pull, you pulling? Yeah, I'm seeing a pull there. Now, hug the knee to your chest. Just give your knee a nice squeeze. Go ahead and squeeze that knee. And breathe into your squeeze. Give her a small squeeze. Good. And then take your twist. Guide your right knee across with your left hand. Take your right arm out, chin to your right shoulder. Softening, now softening. Softening and breathing. Wholehearted, wholehearted. I was doing a workshop this weekend and it was about inspiration. We finished, you know, by affirming how important it was that we be wholehearted and visionary as we move through our lives. The world needs us to be visionary and needs us to be wholehearted and we can practice wholeheartedness with each breath, especially a time like this, you can feel the tendency to kind of drift off or to be wholehearted in what you do. Let's come back to center and rest your right leg on the floor. Take your left leg vertical. Bring your hands behind and interlace the fingers. Bring the heel up and pull your toes down. And wholeheartedly pull the leg against your hands. Four, three, two, pull. And then hug your knee to your chest. And to be wholehearted is to remember this, that the pose is what you're doing Yoga is how you're being in the pose. And it's always that. Yoga is how you're being in the pose. And so let's take that twist. And so really the art of the pose, you know, you can arrange your limbs and all this, but the art of the pose is in the being aspect of it, you know. Friendship can be what you're doing. The yoga is how you're being in a friendship, you know. School could be what you're doing, but the yoga is how you're being in that situation in those, in those classrooms and those in that homework right you know parenting can be what you're doing and the yoga of that is how you're being you know in the moment with our children I have two children you know with our spouse you know Iyengar a great yoga teacher said he was asked how do you be a better husband and a better father and he said um, he so he was asked how do you be a better father and he said be a better husband so so the being is so there's so much skill in being now let's come back to center and then straighten your legs for Shavasana. There's one more thing we're going to do together. I'm going to want you to pull your toes towards your heart and engage your thighs and then scoop your tail. And maintain those three actions as you take a strong inner rotation. So you spin the big toes in like that. Four. So you feel it all up at the top of your thigh bone. Three. To spin and then release and begin to soften into the earth. And just allow yourself to become empty, utterly empty of tension, just utterly empty of tension. And breathe into your spaciousness. Breathe into your vastness, just as surely as you are limited to this time and this place and this form. You are the unlimited, you are the absolute, you are the vast. And to be whole is to know both aspects of yourself. And so Shivasana is dedicated to the experience of the unmanifest dimensions of ourselves, of, this, of the space, right? of the silence, right? and of the stillness within us. So I encourage you to take seven minutes now just to to be in the fullness of who you are. And I'd like to thank you for joining us today uh, 
and always. And I'd like you to leave you with this. My own personal mantra these days is to allow grace always. If I want to practice yoga in a second, in a moment, it's just to allow grace and take it from there. So as you move from your practice into the rest of your day, just remember to allow grace always. Thank you so much for coming. Namaste.